November elections are right around the corner. Candace Ferretti has been following the Nassau County legislative races very closely. Let's start by getting people up to speed about who controls the Nassau legislature right now. Sure. In Nassau County, there is a 19-member legislature. Republicans have the majority, 12 to 7. I gotcha. So right now, this year, why is this more significant maybe than other years in the past? What's different? Well, this year, um, there's a little bit more of a focus because there are um, four longtime legislators with more than 20 years of experience each who have uh, decided not to run. So it opens up the field and there are some vacant seats for some fresh faces to come onto the legislature, which gives Republicans potentially an opportunity for a supermajority, which they need 13 members, um, or Democrats an opportunity to pick up more seats. So a race, races that people will be closely watching. What are these candidates talking about? What issues are they bringing up for the community? Some of the issues that they are talking about, you hear Republicans talking a lot about their stance against Governor Hochul's affordable housing proposals. You hear them talking a lot about making sure that county resources aren't used to house and care for asylum-seeking migrants. You hear Democrats talking a lot about stricter gun control laws, red flag laws in Nassau County. And you also hear them talking a lot about the abortion rights issue again, women's rights. Yeah, a lot for voters to take into consideration and election day will be here before we know it. Yep. Thanks, Candace. Sure.